Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 11, I believe. Today I'm going to be playing with another palette that Mickey got me. Um, we're going to be playing with the Bomb Voyage palette today. Now, not all aspects of this palette are getting played with. I am not going to be touching the like lip cheek tints in the bottom just because we do have the NYX uh, lippy calendar to open. And also there are a ton of blushes and things up top as well. So we'll probably be getting into those today. Uh, so we're going to do a really quick eye look, use the highlighter, use one of the blushes, open the two advent calendars, then call that a day. There is going to be a bonus video up today because I got my FabFitFun yesterday in the mail. So keep an eye out for that. It is literally like editing itself right now. So uh, that will also be up later today. I just didn't want it to be part of my vlogmas necessarily and I'm still deciding if when I get my ipsy and my top box if I want those to be part of my vlogmas so if you guys um feel strongly one way or the other if you want me to just do that for my vlogmas I will if you want me to do a regular vlogmas post and then put that as a bonus video let me know I will do uh whatever the majority wants or if nobody answers me I will figure it out when it shows up so the first thing that we're going to do, I've already primed my lids with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I was pretty on the ball today about getting that done. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing with like a combination of like these more pinky tones. And then we're going to use a little bit of like that, that brownie purple at the bottom. So I think we're going to kind of go in like a Tetrisy sort of shape today. Um, maybe get into this or this. I haven't totally decided yet, but I don't think I'm touching any of the three on that side. I think I kind of want to leave sort of that for another part and we'll just kind of focus in this area today. So the first thing we're going to do is take that color and welcome. It's that cream color at the top and I'm going to put that all over my lids. Whoa, that was really pigmented. I wasn't expecting that and all the way up to my brow. just like that, just to lay down a little base of color. It's gonna be a pretty simple look today. I do have to work later, so I'd like to keep things a little bit more mellow, if you know what I mean. Um, let's get into this color Bienvenue at the top. No, I don't wanna use that color today. Hmm. Let's use Benvenuto. I'm guessing that these are all different ways to say welcome in different languages, because I do know Bienvenue and I know welcome, and I know bienvenido. I just don't know the other ones, so I'm assuming it's like English, French, Spanish, I don't know the rest. So if anybody knows the rest, tell me as they come up. So then we're gonna use um, Benvenuto, this pink here, and we're going to put that high up in the crease. And if you do watch that FabFitFun um, video, there is a really cool section in the um, like the piece of reading. I've actually got it sitting in front of me. So I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I do show it in that video as well though, but there's a whole section in here that tells you how to best apply makeup for your particular eye shapes. That's right there. I'm gonna leave it up for two seconds. If you wanna pause it and read any of this, feel free. So because I think I have hooded hooded lids, uh, it does tell me that I should make sure to apply color with my eye open. That way I can see where my actual crease is rather than shutting my eye because at that point my crease almost disappears. And somebody commented too uh, when I did the Lorac Sunset that like I am so heavy handed with shadows, which I thought was hilarious because I never realized that. I actually thought that like, I was pretty mellow with how much shadow and how much color I actually put on my lid, so I didn't even realize I was going that heavy-handed. So we're going to use this color in Turva Tuloa. Now you guys get to see how butchered I can do other languages, which is just fantastic because, you know, I here's the thing. <laughs> I speak English fluently, obviously. That's my first language. It is the one that I speak. I took French in school because if you're Canadian, you know you have to take French up until you're in grade nine and then it becomes optional. I took French until grade nine. I got French awards in grade nine and like grade eight and all that stuff. And then I dropped it, but I can still like I have an ear for it. If somebody speaks to me in French, I can generally get what they're saying. 
I can't answer in French. My grammar and my conjugations are really, really bad. And it's the same for Spanish. I took Spanish for two years in high school. And when I went to Mexico, they were able to speak to me in Spanish and I could understand it no problem, but I couldn't answer back in Spanish. So uh, it's just one of those things. Like I can, I do have a vague ear for language, but it's not very good if I'm completely honest. And also I took um, some language courses in university, but because, so I took ancient Greek and Latin, which are both dead languages. So obviously I'm not speaking those to anybody, um, but I can kind of read Latin and ancient Greek. And to be honest, like if you can speak either English, French, I would say Italian, uh, Spanish, any of those, because they're all based in Latin, you can kind of have, you can kind of get the gist of a lot of Latin. Like you can sort of, not every word, but some words you can sort of look at and be like, that sounds a lot like this word. And then you can figure it out from there. Um, not really English, I guess. English is more Germanic, but, like, definitely all of, like, the romance languages you can kind of get a basic feel for by just knowing one or the other. So then I'm going to take this color Willkommen, this one here, and we're going to use that to deepen up just, like, the outer part of the crease even more. Just like that. Looks pretty even so far. I am going to take a really clean brush and just kind of blend it. And I'm blending from out to in. These colors are really pigmented and they go really nicely together. So in the last color we're going to pick up from this palette, if I can find what I just did with that brush, is Valkaman. If this is your, if whatever language I'm using is like your, you know, your language and I'm butchering them, I do sincerely apologize. Languages are hard. And we're going to just kind of in a V on the outer corner like that, just to get a little smokiness going. And then I'm going to blend that as well. Just like that. Now, I do kind of want to try, so maybe what I'm going to do, instead of using the highlight color as a highlighter, I think I'm going to put that all over my lid just to give it some shine. Uh, and then we're going to use a different highlight from the balm. I'll lose, I'll use one from the Luminizer palette. Or do I want to do it the other way around? I'm just trying to decide because I do want... No, we'll do it that way because I do want some shine on my lid. I just don't think that there is enough, and I think that all that color is really high. So I'm going to take this one in Kawaka Ribabisha. Don't know. Pick some of that up and just kind of, whoa. That is exactly what I was hoping for, that it was like super, super shimmery, but not overpoweringly so. We're going to put that there. Just like that. So then I am going to obviously do my typical black liner. I am trying to switch up from my Stila Stay all day. So today I'm going to be using my MAC Penultimate Rapid Black. I haven't used this one in a while, so hopefully it behaves for me more or less today. Yeah, it's not really. I think it might be time to retire this one. It's not too bad. I do just find that it is drying kind of quickly. Just like that. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing it in a mirror down here, so maybe what I'll do is I'll move the mirror kind of in front of the camera and look downwards while I do it. That way you guys can still see like straight away what I'm doing.
just like that. So that's that done. Now normally at this point also I would smoke out some color on my lower lash line and I think I will do it with one of those pinky ones because that always looks really pretty. So taking a pencil brush, we're going to do it with the same color that I laid high up in the crease. We're going to use Benvenuto, which is this like really shimmery pink here, the more pink one, and just dust that underneath. Just really subtly. I just like to add a little bit under there. I just think it brings the whole look together like that. For mascara today, I am going to be using my Elizabeth Arden Lasting Impression Mascara. This is one that I got in either an Ipsy or a Top Box that I've been trying out um, so that I can review. It's the one with like the Christmas tree shaped wand. Okay, for the blush color today, let's do this one in Huan Ying. I like this one. I do like this one, but it's so bright. I want to use the little bit of a subtler one today. So pick some. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Light hand, light hand. You guys can't tell how lightly I'm touching that on my face, but that is so pigmented. It's like fast and quick, fast and quick. So there's that today. So then for highlight, we are going to use something out of the Manizer palette, I think. Let's use Mary Luminizer. This one's my favorite one. And I'll just get a small little, little brush so it's more controlled. Whoa. I've used it once, but like I kind of always forget how crazy good these highlighters are. Just like that. And I think that that is going to be it today other than we have to open our advent calendar. So I am really quickly going to set my face today. I'm using my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. So we'll just... do that nice hair wow I ended up like I t normally I shower in the morning and I blow dry my hair and that's why my hair is always so straight because I it blow dries straight but yesterday after like being in the dust and stuff from the Christmas tree I just n felt like I needed to shower so I took a shower last night and then I kind of slept on my hair and it kind of came out really weird so I did put like a beach wave spray in it which is kind of why it's like a little bit wavy today trying something a little bit new so hold on I dropped the other calendar so the first calendar we're going to open today is the quo by early uh 12 days of nails colorful healthy nails uh we are on day five of this calendar day five has a really big door but I've kind of noticed that it's literally all just small bottles of stuff so I don't think the door size makes any difference and I just ripped it open oh this is another really nice color that I really like this one's called aloe goodbye that's really cute these names are really cute so it's like a gray oh god that's a really nice gray that's like a perfect wintery color as well so I'm really excited to try that uh, and then we'll get into the NYX lippy countdown we are on day 11 which looks like it's going to be a pink or a red color so let's pop that open And I am absolutely correct. Get this out of the packaging. So this is a soft matte lip cream in the color Sao Paulo. I'm going to be completely honest. I think I have this in full size. Give me two seconds. I'm going to go take a look because if I do, I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to give it straight away. Hold on. Okay, so I knew the name sounded familiar, but I'm torn on if it's the same. So these are the two. I mean, they genuinely look exactly the same. Like the tubes are the same color. Um, yeah, I'm honestly torn. I don't know because this one is in Sao Paulo and this one is in San Paulo. So 
Uh, I'm not going to put both on my lips. I will swatch them both on my hand and just see if they're the exact same. And then if they are, I'll put the big one on my lips because I've already used that on my lips. That way, at least this one I can save for somebody else. Okay, so that's the big one. Now let's see if this little one is the same color. Yeah, I think so. I just think that because my big one's older, it's not as pigmented. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just use this one. It's fine. I just won't give it away to anybody. Or if I do, it'll be like a really close friend who won't care or like my niece or something like that. screwed that up a little bit but what else is freaking new I also love the smell of these like quite genuinely they smell like fresh baked goods there we go but I'm not always a big fan of the consistency of these soft matte lip creams like if you saw like that one kind of went on patchy and chunky and I don't know if it's just because it's older but it's not that old to be 100% honest like I feel like I got this like maybe two months ago, if that, I don't remember, um, but it's not that old. So that is the color for today. I actually really like this color with this eye look, so I might just leave it on all day and just touch it up after I eat, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching these videos, especially if you've been with me all the way through Vlogmas. I know that I'm sure some people are kind of getting annoyed with that I'm putting up videos every day, um, in which case I'm sorry, but you know, it's that time of year. It won't be for forever. Um, keep an eye out. Tomorrow's video is going to be up late, but it's going to be, well, you know what? Uh, I'll say Wednesday's video because I'm going to film Wednesday's video tomorrow night. Uh, it's going to be another really special like vlogging video. Um, but I'm going to be doing that late and I don't want to come home and have to edit crazy. So I'll film something in the day for you guys and then I'll film again at night. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.